My name is Louis Wojciechowski, and I helped develop the Pack and Cool mobile cooling unit with Dr. Penelope Perkins Vesey of NC State University Plants for Human Health Institute. We started with a 5x8 cargo trailer with barn doors. We recommend the barn doors so that if you have to load a pallet of material, uh, it's you can bring a fork truck to it, and also you can open one door so you don't lose your cooling that's in the trailer. Um, first step we did was remove the plywood paneling and aluminum trim as we will reuse this later uh, in our construction. We used a standard window air conditioner unit that was 12,500 BTUs that could be purchased at any local hardware store. The idea behind using this is that if something happens you can quickly replace the unit by going to a hardware store and you don't have to call to have it serviced by a, a professional technician which can greatly add to a cost. We insulated the trailer with four inches of pink foam board insulation that was cut to fit between the trailer joist and uh, framing members and then we installed a second layer of insulation that went perpendicular to the first. We then covered the foam by taping the seams and then reinstalling the plywood over the foam. It requires that you use four and a half inch screws to get through the plywood and the layers of foam and to reach the metal studs. Pre-drilling may be required. The window air conditioning unit was supported by using angle iron that was secured to the framing members of the trailer with some self-tapping screws. The air conditioner case will then be screwed to this once the final plywood has been screwed down to the trailer to set the depth of the unit. The air conditioner is wired directly to a RV power input that can be purchased at any trailer supply store or online. This allows you to plug an extension cord into the side of the trailer so you can power it off of 110 house current or you can plug it into a generator. Be sure to use an appropriate size extension cord. We recommend a 12 gauge 50 foot max length extension cord. This will help ensure unit reliability and longevity. The plywood was then sealed with two coats of polyurethane then it was lightly sanded and all the gaps were filled with caulk and then two coats of low VOC exterior paint were applied. We recommend using low VOC paint as to not uh, create a a problem with uh, VOCs in the trailer that can affect produce. The CoolBot was then installed and wired according to the directions. The CoolBot unit has no major electrical connections. It is simply twisting together uh, two wires and installing the unit. The unit does require that it be powered by 110 volts. Once the trailer was done, we've t tested the trailer and successfully had it down to 35 degrees Fahrenheit. The Pack and Cool provides farmers with a mobile, cost-efficient alternative to commercial cooling units. For more information on the build-out of the Pack and Cool, please go to plantsforhumanhealth.ncsu.edu.